hi everyone welcome to my channel so today i'll be showing you how to prep your skin before makeup i couldn't put all the video in here because it was too long so in my next video i'll show you how i achieve my makeup look okay so first of all you want to clean your face i got this blows um face foam wash from blossom cosmetics okay and i'll be using it that as the first step you need to prep your skin before makeup so guys if you are new here don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like don't forget to comment thank you so much to my existing subscribers you guys are amazing and see your likes and see your views god bless you so let's not much further ado let's get right into the video you're welcome to my channel let's get right into the video so after i finished using the foam face wash from blossom cosmetics modity entered my eyes oh, like it was so painful ah it was so painful so guys when using it just be careful i think a little a little of it goes a long way you know this is my first time of using it so <laughs> don't blame me so i was just using wipe to clean off the the foam like the residue from the face wash of my face using wipe to clean them off so guys this is what you just need blossom cosmetics I'm, I'm i love their products so much i love their products so this is the first time i'm using their foam face wash and i hope that it will be as nice as their other products that i've been using so i was just showing you guys the deaths from my wipe showing you guys deaths from my wipe and don't forget your neck when cleaning your face your neck is kind of part of your face okay so don't forget that so i'm done with that now i'm going in with my cleansing water from blossom cosmetics again <laughs> i told you guys i'm a big fan of blossom cosmetics so i just i use the cutting wool to to apply the cleansing micellar cleansing water you can use a cutting pad if you wish so this cutting wool i used at that time to double cleanse my face before i started applying my makeup so guys these are the things you need to do cleansing is very important especially double cleansing okay it's very 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 important to always make sure your face is free from dirt and um, any thing that might hinder the smooth application of your makeup products so guys one more this uh, foam wash here is really powerful you can see how the the cleansing water is just bringing it out from my face <laughs> oh my hey i don't get why baby by first <laughs> so guys that's that i mean here was a struggle for me i'll not lie here was a struggle next time when i'm to use that um foam face wash i will use a little amount of it a little goes a long way instead of packing it you understand a little goes a long way so guys my face is just ready for other skin prep products you know guys and one good thing about this skin prep is that you can actually inculcate this in your everyday skincare routine like every day maybe if you are going out or something you can actually do it double cleansing is very important you don't you don't just need to just bathe and you start applying your serum or your moisturizer you have to double cleanse it's very very important so that you can get into the pores of your skin to make sure all the deaths are out so after that i'm using my facial toner this is from tires i've had this facial toner for a long time i've had it for a long time i've had it for a long time so it's actually a good um, toner toner helps to 
to reduce excess oil from your face it helps to also balance your skin ph okay it helps to balance it and also the pores it helps to also keep your pores clean and regulate the oil production so now i'm going with my dr rachel vitamin c serum my favorites at the moment <laughs> so i'm just applying that and the vitamin c contains higher runonic acid yeah it makes the skin plump and then um, smooth yeah it gives you this um nice um glow for your skin and makes it look healthy okay so when you apply your makeup you don't look pale you look um healthy your skin looks healthy so i like to use my hand fan to make sure that the products the serum and everything each step every makeup product i apply on my face every skincare product i use on my face i like to use my fan to dry it so that it can penetrate into the skin better okay so now guys don't mind me you can see that big pimple on my on my upper lip i don't know where that pimple came from oh. and it was really very very painful so i didn't want to touch it so next i'm going with my lip balm to moisturize my lip guys if you don't have a lip balm as your skincare um routine your everyday skincare routine, please try and get one lip balm helps to moisturize the lips whether you are wearing makeup or you are not wearing makeup please get a lip balm use a lip balm just as way you apply cream on your body that's where your lips also need moisturization so this is my sunscreen ultra high fey and also from blossom cosmetics again i told you guys i'm a big fan of blossom cosmetics okay this one is almost finished i'm just managing it so that's the two sunscreen i use when i'm going out bye see you in my next video for the full makeup tutorial thanks for watching